Oh my gosh, that predator noise is like the, the clicking that he does is so difficult to imitate. How's it going, viewers? It is TVB, and I just watched Predator, the original, the first film in the Predator franchise from 1987 for my 31 Days of Horror series. I know uh, Predator's like Alien and King Kong, and that's one of those films that kind of blurs the lines between like sci fi and action and horror, but I figured. I, I figured it was appropriate for the whole 31 Days of Horror challenge, and the watching the OG Predator films out of all the classics I haven't watched yet, prior to, to, to tonight of course, Predator is definitely like high up on my list because Prey, which was released uh, last year on Hulu, you know, with uh, Amber Red Thunder playing, you know, that Native American, like the Comanche girl having to face the, the Predator in the, during the 1700s. Yeah, that was one of my favorite movies of 2022, and it really made me want to watch the first Predator and just, like, see for myself, like, what made this film as iconic as it is. This is, like, hailed as one of the greatest, like, sci-fi action horror movies, like, of all time. And yeah, I can totally understand why, because it has that that isolated setting, like, in the jungle with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sorry, you guys keep hearing my cell phone. With Arnold Schwarzenegger and, you know, the commando guys just in the jungle, they're, they gotta make this extraction when they find out they've really been just set up by the CIA to, like, stomp out, like, a Soviet invasion, but, like, oh... Here's the Predator, and the film kind of uses dramatic irony. Audience knows more than the characters do. Like, you know, the film opens with the Predator spaceship coming to Earth, but throughout the entire film, the commandos are just like, what is this thing? Like, who's this hunting us? It's not even a person. It's like, we want to, us as an audience, we want to just tell the characters, no shit, there's an alien on loose, but they don't know that. We do. And again, we see this is a recurring motif throughout the Predator franchise, from what I've been told. Strength has always been a weakness since the very beginning. You know, they realize the Predator's technology is way better than ours with its superior, like, combat skills and fighting strength. So Dutch realizes that he has to be smarter than the Predator. That's the only choice he has of killing this thing and getting out of the situation alive. With the traps he sets up, he puts mud all over himself and his camouflage. Because, yeah, the Predator hunts for sport. But I like how it's still, despite, like, killing just for fun, it does have, like, a code of conduct. But it's massacring, like, it only attacks you if you're armed. Because if you're unarmed, oh, there's just, there's no sport in killing you then. Which I think is, as, it's always been a very interesting concept to me. And, yeah, like, the, the quotes... The lines, there's just so many quotable lines in Predator, like, I don't got time to bleed. You know, the whole macho handshake that uh, that Dylan and Dutch do at the start of the movie. And you're like, get to the chopper! And the, you are one ugly mother bleeper. Like, oh, there's just so many iconic lines, both from Arnold and, you know, the supporting characters. And I just, Predator 2 is definitely a film I need to get around watching it at some point. Because I hear that, like, Predator 2 is sort of, like, the lost world Jurassic Park of, like, the Predator franchise. You know, it's that forgotten sequel that some people consider just as good as the first. So, yeah, maybe not for my 31 Days of Horror Challenge. I'll get, a lot, I'll get around to watching that at some point, too. But, yeah, the Predator, I just, like, I, I'm filming this video. It's very late. I got... 15 minutes until midnight, so I gotta post this video before, you know, October 9th ends. Alright, so, you, I, I'm giving Predator a, a 9 out of 9 stars. You guys, this film is such a spooktacular classic. Okay, so, for those of you guys who have watched all the Predator films, and if you've seen Alien vs. Predator, that counts too. Like, uh, let, which is your favorite? Like, what's your ranking? Like, what's your pick for the worst film of the franchise? Let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe to this channel, please. My name is TVB9. You guys have a good night. Stay beastly.